Thanks very much for being here. I'm Maria Bartiromo, and it is Monday, November 28th. It is 7.01 on the East Coast. A controversial decision sends shockwaves into the energy space. The Biden administration is allowing Chevron to drill in Venezuela. The new permit and license to pump oil in the country, given despite years of human rights violations by the socialist regime of Venezuela. A Wall Street Journal op-ed putting it this way, quote, the U.S. government thinks you're a fool, and not only because it waited until <laughs> Americans were en route to grandma's house for Thanksgiving to let news slip out of a deal to increase heavy crude output from joint ventures controlled by a dictatorship allied with Iran, or that it expects you to believe that Venezuela is considering a return to free election in exchange. During the conversation all morning long this morning is Dagan McDowell and Liz Peake. Dagan, it's a great op-ed on this, the dirty deal. Your thoughts? Yes, um, written by the always amazing Mary Anastasia O'Grady. She points out the um, conflict with, say, uh, with what they're doing with Venezuela. And what they're also doing with Guyana, a rare U.S. ally in the region, and the U.S. has vetoed a loan to Guyana to impede the development of huge reserves of light, sweet crude coming out of that nation. So it doesn't make any sense, this all at the same time, where uh, the U.S. is getting on board with this agreement to pay reparations. Uh, for damage that you can't even calculate related to climate change to poorer nations. But so we veto a loan related to Guyana, but China is aggressively signing contracts to build infrastructure in Guyana and getting in on the oil boom. As Mary O'Grady writes, the U.S. is turning to renowned polluter Venezuela to boost crude supplies, but not help Guyana. What could possibly go wrong, she writes. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah here's, here's Reuters, Liz. Venezuela has begun importing Iranian heavy crude to feed its domestic refineries. Documents from the state-run oil company shows a deal that widens a swap agreement signed last year by the U.S. sanctioned country. So they're importing from Iran, obviously partners with Iran, and now we're allowing Chevron to go in there to help the oil crisis in America. Yeah, my guess is, Maria, we are encouraging Chevron to go in there because we need more oil being produced in the world, and Venezuela has a lot of oil. The stupidity of this is completely mind-blowing. Venezuela is producing heavy oil, dirty oil, kind of like the tar sands that no Americans seem to want to bring into America via the Keystone Pipeline, certainly no one in Biden's administration. Uh, and so none of this makes any sense. By the way, the reason that we did not extend a loan to Guyana is because uh, of a Treasury guidance given uh, by the Biden administration in 2021 that basically forbidden, forbidding uh, loans to any kind of hydrocarbon production, oil and gas production, anywhere in the world. I don't think Americans understand just how profound the anti-fossil fuel regimen in, is in Biden's White House. But this has crippled not only domestic uh, oil and gas production, but oil and gas production, as Dagan pointed out, amongst our allies. What could possibly be more foolish than turning to a regime that has killed and tortured dissidents, that has basically been an anti-American regime, uh, not allowing free elections, the idea we sent officials there to encourage them to take baby steps towards looking like a, a, a democracy so that we could d basically go in there and get more oil. It is so offensive, and the journal's right. Only Biden would do this and only cover under cover of Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. When, when everyone's sort of shut down.